Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. First things first, I'm not wearing a pink shirt, okay? This is a salmon colored shirt, not pink. But shirt color aside, today I want to talk about a little bait that I've absolutely fallen in love with over the last couple of days of fishing with it. What bait am I talking about? The Fat Assassin by Euro Tackle. Check this thing out. It's incredible, but enough blabbling. Let's go take it fishing. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Euro Tackle, and I want to thank them for actually sponsoring this video. I really appreciate their support. <coughs> you got to take the necessary precautions. No mosquitoes today. Today we're going to be exploring a backwoods lake. Let's get after it. Now this lake is a little bit hard to access um, and we have a little bit of a hike to get there so it should be an interesting day. And the temperature today is supposed to be around 95 degrees which is like the hottest it's been all year. So hopefully the fish are in a biting mood. All right so I made it to the lake. The only problem is I have this obstacle. The lake is right out there. The only problem is there's a straight wall down to the lake. Luckily I came prepared. I brought some rope that should help me uh, at least be able to get down and get back up without dying. Got my rope tied off to this tree right here. Now this cliff right here is only about 15 feet tall, but this rope is gonna make it a lot easier to get down, and more importantly, it'll make it easier to get back up because there's not much to grab on. All right, we're about to make the descent down. Let's see what happens. Just because we're down the main slope doesn't mean that our troubles are over. We still gotta find a, a spot to fish because a lot of this lake has pretty much straight walls all the way to the water. But I think this spot right here gives us a little bit of wiggle room. All right, getting on down. Oh, there's fish right here, whoa. There's all kinds of fish right here. Made it down to the lake. All right, so as you can see, the lake is behind me. I finally made it down here. I'm sweating buckets. It's already quite warm out, but thankfully this side of the lake has a lot of shade, so I should be able to catch some fish. Little guy, nothing huge. Got one. Better fish too. Oh, he got off. I gotta make a, a sneaky cast. Oh, got that too. Broke my line. To say that the foliage is thick around here is an understatement. This looks like a nice spot right here. All right, so I rolled up on this new spot right here. As you can see, it's a tiny little window. There's actually a fallen log out there submerged in the water, so it looks like a good spot. Um, I just saw like a five pound bass swim by, so there is some big fish in here. Um, so far, the fishing's been not too bad, but a little difficult. I figured it was probably gonna be difficult because obviously it's really warm outside. I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping off me. It's very warm, but thankfully, again, I'm in kind of the shade right here, so um, there is plenty of fish active but the fishing has been a little tough so far the only real thing that's gotten these fish to bite is this little finesse grub right here this is a euro tackle fat assassin ridiculously good little grub and that's getting the job done today so got him right there all right about the same size as the other one 
But a beautiful fish nonetheless, absolutely hammered the grub. And now it's time for Brendan's Fail of the Week. This has been Brendan's Fail of the Week. Just like that, there's a bass. Not a huge one, but a bass nonetheless. Ah. Ouch. The side of this lake is made up of a lot of loose rocks, so it is quite hard to keep your footing. My word. Oh. Man, that is a workout gonna pitch my bait right out right there twitch it back there we go just like that clockwork clockwork Boop. see buddy they're biting really good now second cast twitch 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 Oh, something hit it. There we go, another one. Back to back casts. Whee! Man, these things are coming out thick. Can we go three in a row? That's the question. Can we go three casts in a row? Let's see. Three casts in a row. Oh, 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 something hit it. Three casts in a row, can we do it? Yep, yes we can. Three casts in a row, look at that. Boom, three casts, three bass. All on this little fat assassin. All right guys, so I was just walking right along here and look what I found. Someone's pocket knife they left out in the woods. Look at that. That is super cool. It's a Kershaw. Somebody must have been hunting or fishing back here and it slid out of their pack. That is a nice knife right there. So after my sweaty journey to the backwoods pond, I decided to take these baits out to one of my favorite smallmouth fishing spots, a river that I know very well, and see what I could catch. All right guys, so I'm currently out here at the river. I'm gonna be doing some smallmouth fishing and some multi-species angling out here. Smallmouth right there on that little grub. Catching these fish at like point blank right in front of me. Nice little walleye right there. On the little jig, man. Pegged him. Got him. Oh my word, big fish. What is this? Ooh, big something. Big smallie. Good night. That's the one we're looking for. Word. Jeez Louise. That's a good fish right there. On this ultralight rod and reel, I gotta be very careful. Boom! Look at that thing. Alright, just caught this absolute toad of a smallmouth right here. Absolutely whacked that little grub. Pegged him right in the top of the mouth. 
as you can see right there, absolutely hammered that white assassin grub. Look at the size of this thing. This is the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught out of this river. It's easily three, four pounds right there. Huge! Woo! So obviously this grub absolutely kills fish and it is becoming one of my new favorite lures but I want to take a moment and talk about this bait in a little more in-depth and detail. The first thing I noticed about this bait when I initially got it out of the package is the fact that it's made of really high quality plastic. I mean just look at the amount of wiggle that this bait has. This plastic is not stiff at all. It is very limber and that in turn gives this bait a fantastic action in the water as you can see by this underwater footage. So this is the rig that I used throughout the entirety of the video right here. This is a Euro Tackle Tungsten Jig Head paired up with this Fat Assassin Grub. And I have to say, this combination is absolutely beautiful. The Tungsten Jig Head pairs beautifully with the actual Fat Assassin and it makes for a killer little combo for fishing not only lakes but rivers as well. As far as colors go, this is my favorite color out of all of the colors that I was sent. This is called Pro Bluegill. This color is essentially kind of a smoky gray with some blue and gold fleck in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the best finesse grubs that I have ever used. Um, the action on this bait is just simply incredible. I absolutely love it. If you guys want to pick some of these grubs up for yourself, use the link in the video description. Go to Euro Tackle's website and grab you some fat assassins. You will not be disappointed. Euro Tackle also has a number of awesome baits available on the website as well, and I recommend you check those out too. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.